Hey, this is Rich Osweiler from PremierGuitar.com. We're at the 2011 Montreal Guitar Show, and I'm here with Ray Gander, and we're going to talk about the guitars you've brought. That's, that's why I'm here, right? <laughs> Ray, tell us a little bit about, uh, about these three guitars you've brought along, and maybe touch on your design philosophy and, and you know, a little bit about yourself and your guitar building. Oh, okay. Well, my de design philosophy as such is I like tinkering and I like doodling. My real day job is in the design field and like I've been des um, art director, senior designer, that sort of thing. So if I doodle something, I build it. Like I doodled a 29 Plymouth Coupe and built it and doodled a motorcycle chopper and built it and doodled a hydroplane and built it. Now I doodle guitars and if they look good, I build them. Right on. And that's about, that's my philosophy. If it, look, if it looks good, build it. Is that uh, a good thing? It is to me. So are you, are you a guitar player? Is that what attracted you to, uh, to getting into guitar craft in the beginning? Well, to be honest, what attracted me to getting into it, building my first guitar, which is so many years ago, I hate to admit it, but uh, I was 15, thought I was going to be the next Johnny Cash and built a guitar So because I couldn't afford to buy one. And I never turned out to be the next Johnny Cash by any means, but uh, I still build them. Build them for myself and build them for my sons and build them for anybody else that would be interested up until about five years ago. And then I built one shortly after my divorce, let's just say I had time on my hands, and uh, built one that really got a bunch of attention. People, everybody I knew said I was crazy not to be doing it for a living, so... A few years ago, I got serious about giving it a shot to try and try and make two cents at this crazy business. Nice. Yeah. So let's uh, let's talk a little bit about. Let's start with this one. Oh, okay. Well, first of all, all my guitars have uh, three things, I guess, that are pretty unique about them. From here, through the neck, and then vertical through the body is a is a molded carbon fiber beam which the whole guitar is basically built around that beam. Like it's, and there's no truss rod, no adjustments, no, because there's no warping, twisting, or whatever to adjust out of them. And this, this is my own uh, invention, too. The, the vibrato system is completely handmade by me and my little bench grinder and my drill press. And, and actually what you can't see as being important is the adjustment of the uh, pickups. Like all the hardware and springs and everything that has typical adjustment is through the hole that's no bigger than the pickup. So if you figure out how I did that, I'll give you 50 bucks. <laughs> but basically it's, it's patent, patent pending, patent pending, and patented. The carbon beam is, the, is the really the the main part of the guitar that makes them unique, other than the looks. Well, the offset volume and tone knobs, that's, uh, that's certainly unique as well. Well, yeah, I guess I wake up in the morning with some funny ideas and try them out, and that seemed like a logical way to get them off the front of the guitar. And believe it or not, it's like this goes fully out of the way, and working with these while you're playing is comes natural, play the guitar five minutes and you won't even know they're not on the front anymore. You, it, it, it really is a pretty good system that everybody gets used to. And, and, uh, and the rest of it, of course, is the amount of carving that I've put into them. I, 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 my day job is in the design field, like uh, as an art director, designer, you name it, in the printing business. And, okay. and I just like designing, so I design and carve and and this Are these hand carved or do you CNC? No, no CNC. I can't afford a CNC machine. Are you kidding? I, uh, but I don't carve them with a ha hammer and chisel either. I, I uh, rough shape them with an angled grinder and a 24 disc uh, grit uh, sanding disc. And then I have a handheld um, die grinder, I guess it's called, with carving burrs to get all the detailed. You know, the like on that one, all this cut away in here and whatnot. That's all done with a die grinder, and but then you're still looking at basically a rough shape. Right? So beyond that, and I, if I ever get the, into it seriously, I'm gonna hire somebody to do it, is the hours and hours of sanding. I just, not my cup of tea, but it's gotta be done.
Yeah. Yeah, and uh, like I say, if you get it uh, done right, it's uh, they turn out pretty decent, I think. So. Well, cool. Well, Ray, can you uh, can you let our visitors know where they can find out a little bit more about your guitars and uh, and yourself? Well, I'm based in Winnipeg, or just outside of Winnipeg, and I have a pretty nice website that I actually traded a guitar for the website, so it better be nice because it was a seven thousand dollar guitar. And that URL is. Uh, the just Gander Guitars, um, www.ganderguitars.com, I guess is officially. Yeah, and uh, actually, for some reason, it's been off the air for a year, and it took me a, about that long to track it down. But it is finally up and running again, and anybody that goes there will see some pretty interesting stuff. I think. Cool. Well, thanks for your time, Ray, and uh, some beautiful instruments for sure. This is Rich Osweiler with PremierGuitar.com at the Montreal Guitar Show.